to begin, make a slip knot and chain 41. It is the length of the back. To chain, yarn over and pull through of the loop. Next, row 1, skip 1 chain and we are going to make single crochet. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into the next stitch until you got 4 stitches of single crochet. Then we are going to switch the color at the 5th stitch. For the 5th stitch, after you got 2 loops on your hook, next we are going to switch the color by grab the yellow yarn and pull through these 2 loops. For the next stitch, grab these 2 strands along with the roll and we are going to insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops and then yarn over and pull through all the loops. Pull a short tail a little bit to give a nice and tight stitch. Repeat this into the next stitch until you got 4 stitches of single crochet and we are going to switch the color at the 5th stitch. So we are going to make 5 stitches of green color and 5 stitches of yellow color. So now, after you got 2 loops on your hook, next we are going to grab the green yarn and drop the yellow yarn. Don't forget to pull it a little bit to give a nice and tight stitch. Then yarn over and pull through these 2 loops. We are going to repeat the same thing as the yellow color by grab these 2 strands along with the roll and make single crochet into each stitch until you got 4 stitches of single crochet. And we are going to switch the color at the 5th stitch. Remember, you must have 5 stitches for each color. For the length of this bag, I have made 8 squares. It is 5 stitches per square. So 5 chains of 5 stitches multiply 8 equal 40 chains or 40 stitches. If you want the bag bigger, please add more chains. After you reach the end of the row, row 2, chain 1, turn your work, and we are going to make single crochet into the stitches. Don't forget to grab the green yarn along with the row, and we are going to switch the color at the 5th stitch. Keep repeating this into every stitches until the end of the row.
For row 3, we are going to repeat row 2 until you got 5 rows. For this quest, you must have 5 stitches with 5 rows. And now, after you got 5 rows, row 6, we are going to switch the color. Chain 1, turn your work. And we are going to repeat the same thing as row 2. Keep repeating this until you got 5 rows. Remember, after you got 5 rows for one color, then we are going to switch to the new color. Like you can see, for the height of the back, I have made 5 rows of the square. If you want the back higher, please add more rows. Now, 
Next, we are going to make single crochet around this checkerboard. If you want this yellow yarn as the border, you don't have to switch it. But I want the green yarn as the border, so I have to switch the color. After I have switched into the green yarn, and then I cut off the yellow yarn. To start mixing single crochet, first chain 1 and then make single crochet into this loop Repeat this into every stitches until the end of the row and I will meet you back again. And now, after you reach the end of the row, I will slip stitch at the corner. Insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Next, continue make single crochet into the stitches until you reach the end of the row. And you will repeat the same thing by make slip stitch into the corner.
Next, we are going to make the strap for the back. Made 171 chains. It is equal 34 squares. Then we are going to repeat row 1 and row 2 of the side back until you got 5 rows. After you got 5 rows, then we are going to make single crochet around the straps by repeat the same thing as the side back. And after you reach the end of the row of single crochet, then we are going to chain 1 and leave a long tail and cut it off. Next, we are going to connect the side back and the strap together by slip stitch both edges. To begin, insert the hook into the side back loop. Then continue insert the hook into the front loop of the strap. Grab the yarn and pull through both loops. And chain 1. For the next stitch, we are going to insert the hook into the back loop of the side back and continue insert the hook into the front loop of the strap only. Then yarn over and pull through all these loops. Repeat this into every stitches until the end of the roll of side back and I will meet you back again.
After you reach the end of the roll, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to connect the other side of the bag by repeat the same thing as the first one. Next, we are going to sew the strap together. And now your checkerboard shoulder bag is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on notification bell so you will notify when I post the video. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.